What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're taking another look at Star Wars Jedi Survivor here on the Steam Deck and on PC overall there are some improvements with the patch 3.5 here for May 1st. So I do want to jump in and show you some of the changes that we're seeing. It by no means fixes the game, it still has a ways to go, but it actually does help a bit. Now this patch isn't very specific, but it is for performance improvements for non-ray trace rendering and you can expect more PC updates as soon as possible. Now Respawn and EA are certainly aware of all of these issues and backlash since launch because the game itself is actually quite phenomenal, but the performance has been rough. As far as visuals, I'm just matching the settings that I used on launch day last Friday. So low for everything here, 800p, quality FSR, off on VSync and ray tracing, motion blur and all that's turned off, matching in parity to the settings that I had on launch day when we tested out the game. So when you first get into it, you can obviously tell there is a bit of a difference. We still are suffering a lot when it comes to uh, loss of performance and some drops in frames. And I'm not saying that under 30 FPS this way is necessarily playable, but it is better than what it was on launch day. We are getting more GPU usage. We are getting a little bit better frame rate. We're definitely using a little bit more power. And there are some improvements here. The thing is with this hardware, I don't know how far the improvements are going to go. On my local PC, this patch percentage-wise has actually helped a bit more than it has here on deck. Now, when we compare launch day over on the right to the patch part, you will see a pretty significant difference when it comes to the frame rate, the power that we're using, the GPU usage that we're using there, and pretty much all around just running a bit better. You'll also see that textures are loaded in properly. It doesn't seem as blurry even with the same settings versus on launch day. I always felt like we were just having a lot of trouble getting textures to load in or look proper. Things certainly do look different now when we compare patch and launch day. You can see things are definitely running a little different, loaded in better, and just overall a better quality here, even if the frame rate's not super playable. Same thing here as we compare side by side, you're getting much better performance here after the patch right here with a little bit more GPU usage, a little bit more power usage and that type of thing. As we get moving here again, you're still gonna see low frame rate and everything here in Survivor, but obviously better performance than we were getting a few days ago. I'll be interested to see what future patches we'll be able to do and if we'll be able to actually lock this game to 30 FPS on the deck uh, ever in the future or not but it's certainly getting better on the PC side. Now, same thing here, there's pretty significant difference when it comes to different areas of this map and depending on where you're at in the game is certainly gonna affect things. Some areas run a little bit lower than they did on launch day, but most areas do perform a little bit better here. Some of these weren't too bad to begin with and there's definitely some changes when it comes just to some of the graphic fidelity or something with the textures here that they've updated or changed with the patch that seems to be having an effect on things there as well. But again, some areas of the game on launch day ran pretty decently, so it's been an odd one for sure. But pretty much as far as comparisons go, we can see that there is plenty of difference when it comes to our overall resource usage, our GPU usage, using a bit more power and frame rate being a bit better. Now we still do have areas like this that suffer quite a lot as it always feels like Textures and areas are still trying to load in and catch up and we do get hit on the CPU side of things pretty hard here So obviously a lot of optimizing and fixing to do yet with the game But we are seeing some improvements here already just a few days later with the first patch I'm wondering why they couldn't maybe have had some of this ready to go on launch day being so close or maybe delay a couple of weeks But that's just kind of how it is in gaming these days, especially with these PC ports We'll continue to keep an eye on this and if performance continues to get better. I'll continue to cover it here all right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.